They were looking for something. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Okay. How do I get to it? Either Zed had an ornery cat, mm. or there's a hidden compartment under there. Um. Yay! <laughs> Ledger. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Steel sword, moth eaten coat of gold cloth. Okay. That to Ravik. Another one to Caesar. Three polished peacock opals. Well, gee. Really, though, I feel like I should have been able to just tear that door off the hinge. If not with my strength, then with Ard. Is it going to let me read that again? Hmm, guess not. I thought I saw a little blurp above it for a second. And it's raining again. Why is it raining so much? See his mug. Damn eyes. Shouldn't let that refuse into taverns with ordinary folk. Leave. Zoltan. Get out. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure do you. Ha! I see hells are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I huh? ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. Believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Zed's. I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entry show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's Club. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now, you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. That seems to be a common theme. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. 
He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go see Ravi first. Give him, uh... Give Zoltan some time to make his way down to Caesar. <clears throat> Let's also enter the blacksmith now on our way. I could never really get into card games, which is no small part of the reason I'm so averse to Gwent in this game. But yeah, like, Dylan is huge into magic. Magic the Gathering. And it does seem cool. I do like the idea of it. It seems pretty darn right nifty. But it's just such a commitment of time and money and effort that I just don't care to give. When I could instead be giving it to other things. And it's just so much to learn and so much to figure out that I just don't really enjoy it. And it requires so much thought when you're playing. I dabbled in it a little bit when my, uh, my cousin was into it and he brought some cards over and tried to get us into it. Even went to a small, he taught us to play and we even tried going to a small tournament at a, sh at a card shop. Did not go very well, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just not really hugely into it. It's not, this game isn't being skimpy about how expensive some cards can be, though. Like, there are magic cards that go for literally hundreds of dollars, and that just boggles my mind. Like, I, like, as a collector's item, maybe, but for actual play? Like, I can understand if a card is just so super rare that collectors will pay top dollar for it. But what do you have on offer? The idea that a card goes for hundreds of dollars, not just because of it being a rare collector's item, but because it's uh but because it's, like, that good a card to play with, that just... I can scarcely believe it. So long. I guess it's not all that different from people shelling out hundreds of dollars to get benefits in their online games. Like my brother was playing uh, Neverwinter for a while, which is a game that I sort of wish that I would have played. I don't know how popular it is anymore, I know he doesn't play it anymore, but he literally spent a hundred dollars on that game. Not all at once, mind, but that's not the idea. place is pretty dead for being almost nine o'clock at night. I'd think that would be a pretty prime tavern time. Seriously, they're like the only ones here. How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Was oh, he the Look guy from before? How happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Uh -huh. 
sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life, and... Uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natali's card. Fancy that? Okay, seriously? This is going to be a huge issue, because I don't have any... Like, am I going to use his deck? And why can I not... Is there not an option for me to just say, um, how about fuck you, I'm not playing cards over a man's life? Seriously, what gives with this? Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Agreed. <laughs> but I'm here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play! Yeah, it's gonna make me use my own hand. Dude, this... This is not okay. Um... Huh. Can I take out... Yeah, I think let's take out these useless cards so I don't get any of my hand wasted on them. Two different trebuchets? Maybe that'll make things easier for us. Oh, I don't have enough cards in my deck now. Cool. Well, gee. Okay, so I need them all. Great. Uh, Alright, whatever. I'm gonna go first. Let me draw you. Let me draw you. All right. Let's see how this goes. I've got rain and fog. I guess let's start with my range. What does she do? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Oh, cool. So I should save her. Alright, well. Here goes nothing. I can only assume he has more of those. Alright, so he's already winning. That's great. Of course. Of course he would do that. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, great. It's not like I can just throw everything I have, because there's still another round after this one. Wait, what? Oh, I could... Oh, it lets you choose from his pile, too? Or no, this goes into my hand, because it was on my field. Okay. You're my best. Um. Thanks. Um. I guess technically I would still have an advantage if I did this, but I would also... I mean, I already have an advantage anyway, so... Uh, I mean, I know if I pass, he's just gonna... He's gonna put more cards until he wins, because he only has to win one more. But if I don't pass, then what will I do? I guess I gotta just go for it. Uh, I have more cards than him, but... I think I've got to pass. I can't afford any more, because I don't have I don't have enough cards to carry into another round. Mm hmm. Great. Oh, cool! I still won. And I get a useless weather card. Well, that's all I got. Oh, wait. Oh, did I win? Oh, I won! Oh, my gosh! Dude! Oh, my gosh, I won! Holy crap! That's so exciting!